Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2338 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of biblical wisdom. Today we'll be exploring Proverbs chapter 29 verses 8 through 14 from the New Living Translation. In these verses, we'll uncover insights into the consequences of wickedness, the blessings of wisdom, and the importance of humility. So let's not delay any further. Let's dive into the wisdom of Proverbs. Verses 8 and 9. Mockers can get a whole town agitated, but the wise will calm anger. If a wise person takes a fool to court, there will be ranting and ridicule, but no satisfaction. These verses contrast the behavior of mockers with that of the wise. How can we understand the consequences of mockery and the blessings of wisdom? We do this by recognizing the destructive nature of mockery and ridicule, which only serve to agitate and to stir up anger. Instead, choose wisdom and discernment, which have the power to calm and diffuse tense situations. Avoid engaging in mockery and ridicule, knowing that it leads to strife and conflict. Seek to be a peacemaker and the source of calm in your interactions with others, knowing that it reflects the wisdom of God. When faced with foolishness and folly, choose to respond with patience and understanding, rather than resorting to anger or retaliation. Now let's explore verses 10 and 11. The bloodthirsty hate blameless people, but the upright seek to help them. Fools vent their anger, but the wise quietly hold it back. These verses highlight the contrast between the actions of the bloodthirsty and the upright. How can we understand the importance of seeking to help the blameless and exercising restraint in anger? We do this by recognizing the importance of standing up for the blameless and seeking to help them, even in the face of opposition and hatred. The bloodthirsty harbor hatred toward the blameless, seeking to harm and destroy them. In contrast, the upright seek to support and assist the blameless, showing compassion and kindness toward them. Choose to exercise restraint in your anger, knowing that it reflects wisdom and maturity. Avoid venting your anger and frustration impulsively, as it only leads to further conflict and harm. Instead, choose to respond to calmness with self-control, knowing that it diffuses tension and promotes peace. And finally, let's turn our attention to verses 12 through 14. If a ruler pays attention to liars, all his advisors will be wicked. The poor and the oppressor have this in common. The Lord gives sights to the eyes of both. If the king judges the poor fairly, his throne will last forever. These verses emphasize the importance of leadership, integrity, and justice. So how can we understand the significance between leadership, integrity, and justice? We do this by recognizing the importance of seeking wise counsel and surrounding ourselves with advisors of integrity and honesty. Leaders who listen to the liars and deceitful individuals are led astray, resulting in corruption and wickedness. Choose to align yourself with those who value truth and integrity, knowing that it leads to wise and righteous leadership. Recognize the common humanity shared by the poor and the oppressor, as both are created and sustained by the Lord. Uphold justice and fairness in all your interactions with others, knowing that it reflects the heart of God and ensures the stability and longevity of your leadership. Choose to judge the poor with fairness and compassion, knowing that this secures your legacy and honors God. And there you have it, my friend. Insights from Proverbs chapter 29, verses 8-14. through 14. These verses offer us timeless wisdom by choosing wisdom over mockery, supporting the blameless, exercising restraint and anger, seeking wise counsel, valuing integrity, and upholding justice in all aspects of our lives. As we continue on our journey through the pages of the Bible, let's remember to apply these timeless principles to our daily lives. Until next time, keep seeking wisdom and make it part of your daily trek. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. As we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day.
every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.